Now, if you were to contrast Paul Allen to Bill Gates, what would you say? This may get into the whole nature versus nurture debate, but I think it's significant that Bill Gates is the son of a lawyer and Paul Allen is the son of two librarians. And I think you've seen that play out, not only in their relationship when they were forming Microsoft, but also in their later years. I think Paul Allen is somebody who's you know, interested by a wide variety of things. You know, it's almost like he's browsing through the stacks in his life. And Bill Gates is somebody who's out there, you know, really trying to change the world. And not that Paul Allen isn't doing that, but, but he's doing it in a much more eclectic way and a much not less focused, focused way than, than Bill Gates is. I would have said that, that Gates is a laser beam and that Paul Allen is, is almost scattered about. He's a buckshot, almost. <laughs> Why did he write this? Why <laughs> did he put it down? He wants credit. I think that's what it comes down to. And I think that's part of what the book is about. He wants people to know that he was a, a player in the technology industry. You don't think there's a vendetta issue here? Except I don't think it's a vendetta against Gates. I think it's more about Alan trying to take a stand and say, hey, here's what I did. Here's how I was but part of this. Then why go ahead and, and, and draw such a, an ugly portrait of his old friend and partner? I think he was probably trying to be factual with it, and that probably actually happened. And based on our experience, I mean, Bill Gates was a very cutthroat business person. It does not surprise me that he was trying to diminish Paul Allen's equity stake in the company at the time. Could this backfire on Paul Allen? Yes. I think the risk here is that in trying to clarify his legacy, he could end up damaging it by being seen as the type of person who would, in retrospect, say something about you know, his great geek buddy.